but just remember to sing. S I N G. Solar plexus instep nose groin. Charlotte Clark writes, like the blog, what is your thoughts on self-defense sing technique from Miss Congeniality on YouTube? So sing stands for solar plexus instep nose groin. Okay, so that's that's what she's asking. So she wants to know women's self-defense. So me and Bob are here. Now I got Bob taller. I'm 6'1", almost 6'2". I got him about 6'4", but if, I don't know how tall Charlotte is, but most of the time your attacker, if you're a female, your attacker is going to be larger than you or bigger than you. So I have this set up with the attacker being bigger than me. In the video, and I'll show up right now. Now, if all else fails, go for the four sensitive areas of the body, but just remember to sing. S I N G. <clears throat> Solar plexus, in step, nose, point. Same. Same. You saw the video. Solar plexus, in step, nose, groin. So if I get grabbed from behind, all right? I mean, for one, how are you going to hit the solar plexus unless you know to step to the side and strike? Here's another thing. All right, so Charlotte, I'm not making fun of you. You wanted to know about sing, and there's so much disinformation, actually just plain stupid information out there from self-defense instructors trying to teach women self-defense. It's ridiculous, okay? You're gonna get yourself killed. You won't, you're not gonna have a chance, all right? I'm gonna show you why. Solar plexus instep grow, nose groin. All right, so you gotta remember that. So I'm attacked and now I gotta remember these uh, places. And also on the video it says, if all else fails, go for the four sensitive areas. Right there, they're already lying to you. Right there, they're already getting you killed. Those aren't the four sensitive areas. We'll go over that in a second. So solar plexus, boom. So I, I'm grabbed from behind and this is assuming they don't have a super strong grip. And usually once they grab you, they aren't grabbing, holding you. They're grabbing you and dragging you off. They're grabbing you and dragging you off. So how are you gonna do this super cool uh, back step solar plexus strike? Okay, so now let's say, let's just assume he sits there and grabs, grabs me and stands there like an idiot. Okay, this is also assuming he doesn't have a knife to your throat. Right? How do we, that's what I don't like about scenario-based self-defense. Because you have to remember each exact scenario and what techniques to use in those scenarios. So I'm Charlotte, I don't know how tall you are, but I'm assuming my attacker is larger. So I hit the solar plexus, right? Look at where I just hit. I actually hit the pelvic plexus. That might not be a bad spot, but the solar plexus is up here. Are you gonna be able to, I mean, do you know when this guy grabs you from behind, do you know their height? No, how are you gonna hit the solar plexus exactly perfect if you don't know their height? You don't know their height, you aren't gonna hit that solar plexus. That's why when I showed in my video the other day, I'm in front of the person and I can hit the solar plexus because I know where it's at. All right, and then, but I wouldn't teach women to hit the solar plexus anyway, no way. I have a whole other system called Rape Proof that teaches you how to survive a violent attack, how to get out of any rape scenario, rape, murder. That's a whole other video. <clears throat> so, okay, I missed the solar plexus. All right, if I hit somebody, <clears throat> and this assumes that you can clear some space and get some leverage. Otherwise, you're here trying to hit the solar plexus. It's not going to do anything, not going to do shit. So let's say I hit the solar plexus and he still stands there holding me. And then I instep, right? I hit the instep. So basically they're saying, jam your heel into the foot. Now that can work, but it also might not work. 
this the person grabbing you, most of the time, they're high or drunk. They aren't going to feel pain anyway. They're especially not going to feel any ab pain if you don't exactly hit that perfect solar plexus. They might feel foot pain or not, but look at the MMA fighters who do foot stomps. All right, they aren't crumbling down to their foot and holding it and giving up and letting you, letting their opponent run away. No, there's, they take the pain and then they keep going. This person's gonna have an, an adrenaline rush like Matt. They might not feel this pain. And this is assuming that they're gonna let you clear your space and hit the instep. Okay, that's bullshit too. Solar plexus instep nose. If you're from behind, do you know where that nose is? Let's see. They grab me from behind and, okay. They grab you and usually they grab both arms. All right? They don't perfectly Hollywood style grab so you can have an arm free. They're gonna grab both arms and you're gonna be stuck like that. So how are you gonna hit the nose? Now you can hit the nose with your head and in a life or death situation, hell yeah, you're gonna do that. Hit the head with the nose and try to open up a second target, but you gotta know you gotta know the exact targets to hit. And it's not sing. The only thing I like in sing is G. Groin, yes. We wanna smash those testicles. You wanna crush that groin. You wanna explode some nuts. That Exploding nuts is going to cause a somatic reflex. The attacker is going to somatically, no matter what, their hands are going to go to their groin, they're going to bend over like this, their chin's going to come up, and their eyes are going to come open. They can't help it. A somatic reflex, just like hitting the thing on your knee, your foot goes, you can't stop it from happening when the doctor does that. That's a somatic reflex. So, boom, if you hit the groin hard enough, they're gonna come over, hands to the groin, chin up, eyes open. So if you can get to that groin, but now let's assume they grab you and your arms are stuck. What are you gonna do? Okay, I have a way to get the groin in my other system, in my rib proof system, but not but that takes, I mean, you got to see it. Okay, so that's, if you can get to the groin, yes, that's a target. That's one of my targets I teach. You don't want to know sing. You want to know BET. You can bet your life on it. BET. Balls, eyes, throat. These are actual the sensitive areas. Not, unless you're super strong and you're a fighter and you, know, you can see the target and you got time to, hit the target, the solar plexus is out, okay? The instep, forget about it. You gotta be perfect, you gotta be precise. The nose, yes, it'll make the eyes water and combatives, if you want this person to stay alive after the fact, then the, noise, the nose is a good target. Hit that nose, whip palm strike, hit that nose, hammer fist, you are gonna split that nose wide open and then that will give you time to escape, but you don't always, you can't always escape. Let's say this attacker comes and grabs you, but you're in your home and your child is in a bedroom next door, okay? Or your baby's in a crib in your room. Are you gonna try to hit that nose and run out and leave your kid there? No, you gotta finish this attacker. And I show you in my other system how to finish the attacker. Not just stun them and run away, now that works in a situation where it works, but how do you know? You can't pre-plan all this. Attackers get you when you least expect it. Okay, so 
that's kind of my little uh, thing for Charlotte there. I don't have, I do seminars in rig proof, but I don't have it on video or DVD, but I will, but it's not yet. Just like Smash Foo's coming. I have four different systems. One's a sport fighting system, okay? It's just mixed martial arts. One is a combative system, Smash Foo, where it teaches you how to win every street fight. The other is my kill system, where if you had a gun, would you pull the trigger to save yourself or somebody else, but you didn't have that gun with you, what would you do? And that's self-defense made real easy, or how to kill with your hands. So you can find that at selfdefensemadereeleasy.com, selfdefensemadereeleasy.com, or howtokillwithyourhands.com. Howtokillwithyourhands.com takes you to the DVD set you can buy, SelfDefenseMadeRealEasy.com takes you to the online program, 38 Lessons. You pay, you get ac instant access, and you go watch it. And my fourth system is Rape Proof. Actually, I have five. So four is Rape Proof. That's for women only. And then my fifth is Bully Proof, which teaches uh, kids how to deal with bullies. But the only one I have, I have everything written out on all my systems. I just need to put them on video. And then that's the goal for the next couple years is to get these things on video. Hey, Charlotte, I really appreciate your comment. I hope this helps. And if you're ever in Lake Havasu, swing by my little studio here and I'll show you some things. But otherwise, uh, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Get on my email list at coachdavidalexander.com. Get on the email list. Keep the comments coming because this is this is what I want to do. You give me something to show you, and I'm going to show it. It's like I'm I'm your personal coach. I am your sensei. I am your self defense instructor. You are my student. If you're not subscribed, I need you to subscribe. If you can hit that like button down there, it shows me that what I'm putting out there is interesting to you guys. I need you to comment so I need an, so I know what videos to create. I need you to share these videos. Let's help people. All right? All right, students. Coach David Alexander, out. Why is my house so noisy? I'm in the middle, over by the mountains. Lots of cars today. <laughs>